this one underway. First referee calling the teams onto court, the flag bearers making their way into view. There's now time for the national anthems for both countries. At the VNL Finals 2018, ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem of Brazil. Mesdames et messieurs, veuillez maintenant vous lever pour les hymnes nationaux, en commençant par l'hymne national du Brésil. The United States of America. Et maintenant, place à l'hymne national des États-Unis d'Amérique. Now it's time for the players to make their way out onto the court. 
the captain we'll start with and Brazil. Leo at number one, we'll it's Otto. Bruno! He's going with an unchanged lineup from the team that played in the semi-finals. Bruno, number, number one, setting. Five. Lucas Lucas Lowe, number five, Lowe. number five, going through the outside. Number eight, Lucas Lowe. D'Souza, Wallace. Number eight, Wallace. Should be pronounced, but known the world over as Wallace. He'll be going in the opposite the slot. It's number nine, Tyler's with a Libro. He'll be coming out Mauricio. last. It's Maurizio Souza. Souza, as he has on the back of his shirt. 13 going through the middle. Number 14, 14 Douglas. Douglas. He'll be going through the outside. And it's Lucas, 16. And the middle blocker here, number 16, Lucas. Six as the middle blocker. Maurizio Lewis in the Libro. He will Brazil. not be taking number part nine, at all. It's Tyler's is the Libro. And the has a non Libro shirt on, could be required to come on to court, but should anything happen to Thales, Murillo could actually become a Libro, potentially. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Stoichis of the three-time Olympic champions, Team United States of America, layered with number one, Matt Anderson. Time for the USA to come out, and it's Matt Anderson number one as expected. And as Aaron Russell comes out number two, going through the outside. And with Taylor Sander number three coming through, he'll be going for the outside. So Anderson will be in the opposite slot. It's the favoured three bronze wing attack plus pipe attack for the USA. Michael Christensen number 11 is setting. And then it's Maxwell Holtz, number 12, through the middle, and Look Captain David Smith, number 20, as the other middle blocker. Smith. Starting Libero, will be number 22, uh, Eric Shoji. Libero, number 22, going to the Abby team that Shoji. almost, almost got them into the final. Head coach of Team USA is Sean Brazil in yellow and blue receiving this, the bronze medal match from the FIBB Men's Volleyball Nations League Finals here in Lille. It's a real shame, great pick up from Christensen that took it away from where everybody else was standing. We would be happy to get that first point on the board. We're in to Wallace, the guys that we talked about in the preview. Susan Banks is serving right. That's a good touch off the block from Russell Wallace. Back pedalling. Couldn't get to it. Brazil got the serve they wanted there to put their hand Russell a little bit out of his rhythm. He doesn't even get as high as he wants. Bruno puts up a pretty good block, but it's a bit over Wallace's head, and Souza doesn't have the leg speed to get around and pick it up. Swing from Douglas, nice and quick, out wide. Good start from Brazil, that set. The long distance from Bruno is a little bit short. But Douglas is fast, he can take it early, and you can see he beats the blocker before the block is even fully extended. Bruno with a serve, going after Anderson. Good up from Lucas Lowe. 
Great blocking though from the USA to deny Wallace. That was exactly what Wallace was trying to do. He was trying to get the ball into the block that his defenders could have another chance to play. Somehow they landed in between five spectators. Nice pass from Tales. And it's a good pass because Bruno finds the middle. That's the kind of action that they want using the first tempo is when the perception is not perfect. Douglas to serve for Brazil. Smith thinks it, well, it was close, but it didn't catch the court. It didn't catch the block either, so it's an error from Smith. Brazil have a point. Good reception. His set seems to be a little bit too far over Smith's left shot and could keep it into court. Cheap side out point for the USA. with the serve. Bruno's keen to find Lucas in the early stages of this set. Easy reception, Lucas is up very early. Sand is much too late to be able to change the direction of that ball. Good reactions. And it's the USA who come up with the points. He'll do really well that first time over. First time to keep the ball alive. This time, second time by Anderson. It's a little bit too high for Susan to control and advance through the corner away from Lucas. Chance here for the USA. Taken by Anderson. The US have that break point back now. You can see Anderson turn in the air. He knows that he has a shorter blocker in position four, and he can go over the top, which is what he does. And uh, not getting his range right with that one. This has to be hit, and it has been hit by Anderson. The credit Smith with the cover there. <laughs> Managed to keep it alive, and Anderson, exactly the same situation on the high ball block. He knows he has a height advantage against Lucas Lowe. And there's another block out. Bruno establishing Souza. managed to do today or what they never were good yesterday which was establish a rhythm in the side out. Susan with a good be quick finds the seam between the two blocks. And at this point, we'll have to leave going into the first technical timeout. And it will be the USA. A serve from Anderson. 
Great serve from Anderson there. He's ripped it towards the six blind seam. He's got it in that perfect slot. Looked like it had a little bit of float on it, and float serve at 120 kilometers an hour is a very tough task to receive. being educated on the various calls that will happen on the various plays during this match. The monster block, and then there'll be the super spike. We'll have mega rallies. And we've seen plenty of all three of those during the course of this week. Of course, here comes the boom, and we see Almost every time a player hits the ball, it's boom. Certainly the ones that hit the floor. Anderson looking for a second hat trick, a second ace rather. As it is, it's side out for Brazil. Out of interest, Mike, can you remember the longest serving run you've been the victim of as a coach? No, I, I'm pretty sure I've suppressed that memory. Nice play from Russell, just wiping it off of Bruno's block. Just turn around the feet quick there with hold. So. Make sure that uh, Lucas had to stay in the middle a little bit and get Russell one against one against him. That's a great solution for the USA. side when Sander played it, according to the referee, it's an illegal attack. Sander's pretty to the error, but really the problem there was pushing to the set. He's going over the net, he's trying to force that too much. actually played a great ball to Anderson or Russell. This time he does go close, right in front of him to Hot. I mean, Brazilians took a risk there that the said to Russell, who's uh, attacking from position one there. So he's hold against uh, position four, block the one against one. And that's uh, another mismatch. Holt with the serve. Brilliant setting from Bruno to give Douglas almost a one on no one. Very close to the net. The Americans thought that it was over. It would have been a fault by Bruno. He gets a nice touch on it. That was a straight down. It was called to eight, but it was played. And it's still in play. Good up by Wallace. And a wonderful block from the USA to get the point. Great rally early on in the match. 
match, can I really want to get a hand on that? But this eyeball is not high enough. And look at this, he's in the middle of his hands, which is the strongest part of the block. Once again, it's the USA who have the point and it's their block again that's come up trumps. Smith struggled a lot yesterday against Grass in the high blocks. Now he has two and two rallies. We take a lot of confidence from that. Really good move. Lucas. Then we'll see that Smith tried to reach the position one. He thought he was going there. Lucas gets it the other way into the open court. Where he shows he has no chance. Lucas unable to build on that last swing he had. Say get the side out, so the sander back to the semi. It's close as well, but it's not going to go the USA's way. But Sparrow's going to challenge this one. where the challenges would go. Wallace tries to short serve to the middle blocker there. Wanted to restrict the American offense a little bit. But they just open the middle block in the center. from Lucas Lowe. Oh, that's just a little bit too low, low for Souza. Oh, as a result, USA get it into transition and take the point. Good transition set from Christensen. behind the quick with the off blocker. Oh, hey, keep doing the same thing on Wallace. Hey, let's be real good defensive. This is going to be cross court to allow our guys to keep going line there, okay? All right. Hey, Looking at uh, Lucas hitting some through the middle, and there was one earlier on where Smith went to take away position one, and Lucas then hit back to five. How important is it that the middle block is? can see as well as watching the ball, but make their mind up based on what's in front of them with the ball. Spikers always have to hit the ball that they have, uh, but where the set is and then where the block is, both of the two teams. vision playing a key role in that. So that's a chance here for the USA. It's going to be free ball again. 
three front court attacking options, plus the pipe. Good up though by Douglas. Now advantage back to Brazil. Oh, what a dig that is. And it's gone through the antenna, the USA couldn't chase it. And Brazil take the point. Excellent rally. It's a mega rally. Douglas makes it one on one dig. We get a transition chance. So a really good move by Souza. He ran the big quick there. He made Holt make a small move to his right. And that was what ended up giving Wallace Brook an extra bit of space that he could get into. Into slow for Brazil. Vamos embora, 
Vambora. Tá, obrigado. Mais do que nunca essa hora a cobertura, galera. Tá dando dificuldade, vamos jogar. for the USA, leading 2018 in this first set. Good lead by Tales and Lucas Lowe. It's Barod gone for the challenge on that one. This time I'm going to go against him. It's Barod's wrong here, which he is, that's it, no more challenges left. In this set, anyway. because Lucas likes to serve and then go play six, but he was never going to go run that ball down off the block. Live, it looked like he had a, a play on it, maybe not a great play. And there's certainly a couple of his teammates thought so too. Interesting sort of question as to why Lucas would go after serving to play at six. All right, you can hit the pipe when they use it, but you're putting then one of your best defenders at five and reducing them to hitting a 50. There's a few different discussions about that. Uh, my personal opinion is that the, it's a little bit easier to defend in position six than in uh, position five. Uh, it can also be for the second ball, it's easier uh, some coaches like the position five player to set in transition, in which case the outside hitter will play in position five or the libero. So there's a few different reasons why people may or may not do things. 
the Vandro's on to block for Bruno, which probably means the double sub is coming after this service series is finished from Wallace. Brazil to challenge this if they wanted to. Sousa not happy. So the challenge the, is coming. The linesman called that out. The Americans had no challenge left in the set. Comfortably in. Correctly as it turns out. And it is the USA who take the first set 25-20. They lead 1-0. That was pretty even until about 18 all. A little bit back and forth, but then US had their decisive run. Four blocks to aces. That gives us the final point difference plus one. So I can say the US played a little bit better in that set, but not much. Teams have changed ends. So what to do for Brazil? We can have a look at the highlights from the first set. This one, they know that the uh, main event is to come. France will be taking on Russia in the gold medal match. It's the USA who have the one set advantage at the moment in this bronze medal match. The USA fans very happy with that. No changes for either side as we get ready for set number two.
brings it to serve. So he's very happy with that. So he's did have a while to wait before he got his serve going, but even so, he's expected him to put some pressure on the USA. Russell there for the US. Oh, it's a great serve, it's not coming back. Ace for Russell, point for the US. That serve straight down the line. To the left of the position, five receiver. It's a really tough one to keep. And 107 kilometres isn't that fast, but it shows that the placement is often more important than the speed. Goes to the same place, gets the overpass. Holt puts it down. Two big points very early on for the USA in this second set. Exactly the same serve. Slightly better action for Douglas, but not to any great effect. Wallace, he doesn't find the sideline. It's an error, compounding matters for Brazil. And Dels also calls a timeout. It's not a good start from Brazil, needless to say. Four points for the US on three direct errors plus one overpass. Vamos reformar, tá? Volta aí. Ele tá só direcionando o saque, não é um pau. Entra com a perna esquerda na frente, segura ela, bota no meio da quadra. Beleza? Amortece ela, ele construiu o jogo. Tá? Beleza? Vai lá, vai lá. Vai lá, vai lá. I think down so early on in the second set, it's just a case of taking that just to try and pull the players down, get them back on track. A 4 0 lead or a 0 4 deficit is by no means the end of a set, there's a long way to go here. So, brother would just want to just relax his guys a little bit, refocus them. I expect to see a difference here. Help is certainly given Brazil the ball back. That's a great pick up from Bruno. And a really good put away from Wallace. More what we expect to see. Good defense. Carlos puts that set right in the approach of Wallace. And Wallace is a tiny space on the line there and finds it off Sanders' hands. Covering by Shoji. Put up by Bruno. That fell kind of a great pick up by Christensen. The chance here for Brazil. Oh, what a dig that is by Christensen. It's still in play. Lucas couldn't get out of the way. Oh, and he's come off Anderson. That's just fantastic. What a rally. It's a mega, mega rally. Right rally there, Bruno is really firing his troops up. Starts with a great serve. He takes Anderson out of the attack, which gives him a good chance to block Sander. First good defense by Bruno. Probably didn't need to take that ball. Wallace is really getting a workout here. <laughs> Fantastic from Christensen. Next attack from Wallace. And Douglas was the only guy on the court who was fresh at the end of that rally to put it down. That was incredible. We're going to serve at Brazil. 
Anderson out of, out of the play again. It's a great serving, isn't it? They're taking players out. And it's uh, making it difficult for the USA now. It's not as comfortable as it was. That's one of the objects of the Virginia serving right now is to make Russell hit from the back row in that one rotation where he is. It's not what he's used to and they probably don't think that he can do it over time. They haven't ran the pipe as often as we've seen that this week in this match so far. Oh dear. Well, this will be apologising to Bruno for that one. Well, it's a serve on Anderson again. He's having... Oh, sorry. Russell, they get the overpass. It's a little bit how the day's been. The last two days have been for Brazil, but they're still well in the set. Christensen with the serve. Excellent. Really good play from Bruno. Americans are serving with a little bit less risk than they did the first couple of games. It's serving close to the lines, looking for the seams, putting pressure on the side out in a different way. This time, Bruno and Lucas were up to the task. Bruno again, he's fired up for this game. There's a chance here potentially for the USA. Sander doesn't click the block. The block uh, defense has really picked up here. Sander doesn't hit very often from position two. Maybe we can see why right there. Sander gets blocked out. USA edge in front. Slightly longer distance said from Christensen. Susan was a, had taken a little bit of a step to the right. It's an effective one on one for Sander at a point. focus there in the middle of that one we're up big so let's make sure we keep it okay which means against approach line you got to be super mindful right on that one he came over here like this and then went here right so you got to keep it there got to keep it there yeah. okay all right anderson's the top scorer in the match nice so far. he had okay. a really great Maybe first set in attack hitting seven for nine but really he was everywhere where his team needed to be with an ace and a ball he said he hasn't been quite such an important figure. He's really been able to serve to him a little bit, change the way that they're setting up the offense. But so far, Anderson's the decisive player of the match. Smith for the 
USA. So the net like that, it's blockers have so little time to make a decision. That time, uh, uh, Suzo tries to have a little bit, bit of a bet each way, but the block's slower than the attack there. Good serve from Anderson. Tyler took too long to make his mind up about playing that one or not. Anderson's last ace was on the other side of Tyler's. Time he has to go to his left, and that little bit of indecision again is really costly at this level. It's a net touch by uh, Douglas. It's a really good serve again from Anderson to get the overpass. Time uh, Anderson actually served it all the way to position five. It's a bad blocking mistake there from Douglas. Brazil have been able to defend nearly every US attack. Sousa with the off pace attack, leaving USA's defenders stuck in the mud. Everyone's on there. He was ready for the strong spike. A little bit too far in front of Souza. He doesn't get his full hand on it, but sometimes those ones are more effective. I say starting to get that hype attack running now. Could be trouble for Brazil. It's actually a tough ball to set the pipe on the receptions at three metres. It's not always clear where the middle block is going to go. And if the pipe hitter will land on the middle, but the Americans did that very easily. Great pick up by Lucas. And Douglas is looking for the hands, he's not paying them. Really fighting to stay into in, in the set and then take like that it hurts you a lot. It's gone for top of Christensen's hands and didn't miss by much in the end. Douglas has been taken out. Victor's come in for Brazil. Tell you what, that was close, and Russell trying to pin the, the channel between Tales and uh, Victor. Pretty sure that Sparol would have challenged that if his recent experience wasn't so bad. Bruno for Brazil. to adjust his first attack and gave it Brazil an opportunity to put the ball into transition. The yeah, problem for Brazil certainly hasn't been their transition offence. Great dig, Bruno and Lucas are a bank in the middle. Targeting Russell in, in uh, serve receive. Christensen likes sometimes to set the guy he received on the pipe. Looked like Lucas was aware of that and gave him no angle to get past. All right, all right, we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Okay. 
with that one, it's free ball here, then Christensen almost makes a bit of a hash of it, but it's Sander to save the day. A little bit of confusion there, it's a great serve from Wallace, uh, from Bruno, sorry. Good, strong, high ball from Sander against the third blocker. Victor is on for Douglas, for Brazil. Nice play from Wallace, gets the block out. It's Wallace's ninth point. First serve of the match for him. Smith put that back down the floor with interest. Victor wanted his first action to be a positive one, but it's too easy for the US. Christensen and Smith put that ball on the floor very fast. American serve's gone off the floor just a little bit since the opening part of the set. Break point here for Brazil to make it really interesting at the next second. You say let off the hook by Lucas. There's going to be a challenge though. Quick decision from Hawkeye. So, ball is out, and it means we head into the technical timeout. USA leading by two, and by one set to nothing. Still evenly placed set. Turn this really fast there, and block the defense been working really well. Vamos para lá, é pai e ponta, pai e ponta. Vamos bater nisso, vamos bater quando chega, tá? There are some standards, uh, the, the three main types of first tempo. Uh, Sets are the one uh, close to the setter in front of him, which is called an eight quick, or often a one. Uh, the ball that's just behind the setter, which is the favorite ball of Bruno and Lucas, is a, a C quick or a two. And the longer quick, which is two to three meters from the, from the setter, uh, is called a B quick or a seven. Sander with the serve. And Sousa gets that one down right in front of Smith. Smith can close the block quickly enough. Bruno and Sousa are still talking about that. It's not quite right, but Sousa's swing is really fast and beats Smith with a little bit of speed and a little bit of distance away from him. Well watched by Christensen. Russ is convinced it's off the block. 
and there is going to be a challenge. Chance for Spurro to get one right in this match. It's a great reception from Christensen. He was ready for the net tape. Smith stepped in really fast to set the high ball. It's a good block by Brazil. is killing me. Does a Brazilian blocker have to go and get his fingers out of the volleyball? Or was it nowhere near? Looked at that video and saw the finger of the blocker move. Sometimes that can be interpreted that way, especially on the big screen when it gets blown up like that. The ball shadow going over the top. I guess Barovi could go and could go and have a look at the high def picture up in the challenge booth after the match. It's gone. Brazil's way. Net fall by the USA. A little bit of lack of concentration from the US after the failed challenge. The reception wasn't good. Brazil had a good transition chance. And then the net touch. Expression, I'm certain it's not happy right this moment. Set Russell on that ball after he ended up on the ground. But Russell gets up fast, the set's fast, and Souza's barely even off the ground. Everything right on that play. 
Bruno got the first block. But that's not a good set by, by Bruno. Souza doesn't have a chance. the dig. Good up by Anderson. Oh, brilliant from Russell. And what was equally good, as Anderson made the dig and was taken out of the play, Sander made himself available in the opposite to hit the 10. One of the keys is trying to keep the width of the board. You can see Sander go there, try to keep the spikers who had the whole court. And John's Kalua's shirt is hanging very well off him. Second attempt by Brazil to side out a little pipe behind with the slow and get that between position six and one. Be targeting Russell here. That's just a huge hit from Anderson. Anderson's been out of the game for a little bit. That's the ball that Brazil were looking for, the high ball for Anderson, but they left open too much line there. Nice serve. It's been the key for the USA in going down to that slot. We're going to have to... Uh, Douglas and now they're going after Victor. The arrow there though is Bruno's. He's looking up at the lights. But lights or no lights, that's just a shame. Which is actually a small number of unforced errors, but sometimes when you're fighting for the set, they, they feel much more important. exactly whether that ball was in or out. Goes the USA to the USA, I should say. They have the point. I don't think there was much confusion whether it was in or out. It was just that the lines were pulled in. And in that situation, it's worth challenging. Doubles up for Brazil. Brilliant for Wallace, the Vandro for Bruno. Just looking for one side out here to keep it at 22 all. And push for 25. USA firmly in the driving seat now. We are lucky here. Going straight through Sandy's hands, but easily have touched three or four things on the way out. 
on the three first tempo that we saw there. He approached in one way to get the middle blocker to move in one direction and then jumped into a different attack. He was able to turn past the block. He's got a good jump serve on him. He's fired up. But he's not made the most of that one. Set point now for the USA. It's a lovely ball in from Tales. Set point saved with the swing from Lucas. Tales was there. Full stretch to receive that ball. At the time we had the ball that's uh, on the spiker's left shoulder. The blocker has to reach for it, loses his height above the net. And Lucas gets the block out. Good out by Victor. Oh, that's wonderful. That's all off that really good dig from Victor. It's a great dig. And that's a perfect transition play for Brazil. When Lucas runs in that direction, he wants to be away from the middle, he wants to cause problems with the position for a blocker. Sander ran in the wrong direction, and it ends up being a clean hit almost for Lucas. First to get two clear now, we'll take this set. Big Sarah to make a wonderful dig in the last rally. He's unable to back it up. Set point goes to the USA once again. Lucas once more. Christian Sengwes, there's a great attack from Lucas. Christian was going after Victor in the serve there. He thought that he might be the most nervous player on the court. Carlos stepped in front and made a perfect reception to give you know, Lucas a chance. It's a little bit tight, but Anderson is able to just push it past the block. No one's impossible to defend because it goes only down instead of up. It's a good lead. We'll keep on going until someone gets too good. Good high hit against Low, Lucas Low. Anderson has a high advantage there as long as he doesn't try to hit it too close to the top of the net. really reach for that ball but this time they close the line on Wallace 
to force him to hit cross court into Holt's hands and it goes straight down for the second set for USA. Stats in from the set. Uh, only five points in terms of blocks and serves. And it was Brazil, even though they had hit the USA, just gave them too many points from errors. And not good errors. So we can say service errors are it's an okay error to hit one or two balls out, maybe. But they missed some plays on uh, that they really shouldn't have missed, except from Bruno. <laughs> decisions overall and they seem to have the set pretty comfortably there's a 21-18 ends up going to advantage and the US have a 2-0 lead.
set about to get underway here in Lille. It's the USA leading by two sets to nothing in this bronze medal match against Brazil. It really is a case of backs to the wall here for Brazil. Otherwise, there'll be no podium finish for him. to business through the outside. Good reception. Russell against Bruno, one on one. Russell just needs to hit high and through the ball. Recovery from Christensen after Shoji's dig. And not in the second time of asking, Lucas, make sure that one goes down. Well, the first attack was the trademark Bruno Lucas play. Nobody else can play it like them. The second one was just a stock standard first tempo. They're also pretty good at that. Christensen's an aggressive set is. He likes to score points every now and again. He's a right hander. Most setters can make that tip with the left hand. He can also spike it sometimes. That's why he went for the less spectacular variation. Nice little roll shot that from Wallace. Holt, despite his best efforts, couldn't come in and cover. It's a nice high ball set. It's getting up close. Even though the defender's ready for the cross court angle, the tip is too short and the blocker makes it a little bit shorter. Point number 11 for Wallace. Sir, that's unplayable. Victor's smiling there because he knows that he missed that completely. It's come off the side of his hand. But it counts in the stats look just the same as uh, 134 kilometers an hour. Great cover from Russell and a good pick up by Victor. <laughs> Lucas Lowe looking for block out of Christensen and he's denied. You yeah, had in the rally the left handed attack from Christensen that we talked about just a couple of minutes ago. That sandy transition was a little bit too short and low for Lucas Lowe. Christensen's right over that. Good work from Sander. We're going to be trying to force Lucas in the beginning of the set. They've had a couple of good actions. That one wasn't quite right. Great jump and swing through the top of Wallace's hands. That's a point for USA. Oh, it's an ace serve for the USA. I thought that was going out. Christensen has really good variation on his serve. He can hit every part of the court with the top spin and the float serve. All the surf close to the line are really, really difficult for the receivers. Oh, 
done by Lucas. Lucas again attacks in the opposite direction from his jump. Smith is moving one way, he can hit high in the other direction. Position two. We saw before that he's not always comfortable hitting from that spot, but that time he cuts it past the blocker in front of the defense. Really nice. Great blocking from the USA. It looked like it rattled around a little bit before it came back over. Tried to hit that short cross, the uh, block is late getting uh, getting across. Carlos on another day might have done better with that one. Sousa hasn't found the sideline. It's been given us out, but there'll be a challenge coming. Sousa's immediate reaction was that it was in. Mine was that it was out. Linesman was adamant. Oh, back on the board. It's an error from Brazil. It's a big lead in the context of this game. And this first technical timeout in the third set. USA leading by three, eight, five. Just like the previous set, Brazil play really well for a patch, had a small lead or tight situation. They make one or two bad plays. Give you a chance to build a lead and put the pressure right back on. to be able to control it.
go over. This is one of those that was almost fantastic from Shoji. He someone quite better than out of a swing on it. Pretty sure Holt had a chance to play this. There's a couple of options that he could have had there. Uh, he's looking for Russell to actually have a swing. It's difficult to say who was in better position other than that somebody should have done better there. Opposites. Anderson's won in a couple of different ways until now. His defense against Wallace has been really good. He's led his team to a 2 0 lead until now. Lucas probably could have hit that ball. So looking for a big serve, but not finding it. Brazil back into this one. No question that Bruno is a wonderful fighter. He's going to keep pushing himself and pushing his team until the until the last possibility of victory. He's got his team for that ace back within a sniff of USA. Nice play. And another one. You can see him there. He's screaming at his guys. He doesn't want to go home just yet. It's effort, it's effort. Ah! Okay, yeah, let's come back here, let's go. Come on. Hey, he's just going to that scene. Okay, so let's... There's been nothing different there. Okay, nothing different there. Oh, no. we got it. Hey, let's figure out how to side out. And this guy serve. He's the top scorer on the team over there. Okay, he's the one that gets him back into sets. Let's find a way to side out here. Come on, come on. Come on. Here you go. One, two, three. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Win-win for in that case, as it was, eh? Trust me, the 
USA have just about kept themselves in this one now. They're back in front, and the healthy leader's gone, and it's holding the serve. Brooks is looking for a touch, he's got it, it's off Sander. Spotted by the second referee. That's a near touch there. Either way, Victor goes back to serve. Brazil evened it up. and go, and he go, will go out. And let's make sure of that one. Smith's focused on Lucas on the first tempo. Bruno knows that and gets it out fast. Where this time Douglas makes no mistake. Setting Brazil, it doesn't matter. Anderson delighted with his uh, team, delighted with that swing from Sander. Just as we've had in every single set so far, first set technical timeouts, it's been 7 8 in favour of the USA, and second technical timeout, it's been 16 14 in favour of the USA. That said for Xander, it was a little bit inside. Xander coming in on his approach. Contact the ball inside the block and ends up being a free screen with the block. Close to the
Souza gets caught out of position. Maybe he's paying a little bit too much attention to the pipe there. Christensen could see that too easily. Souza has gone off. Isaac has come in for Brazil in the middle. Christensen knows where Bruno is along the net. He knows that Russell against Bruno is a mismatch for him, especially if he can get it out fast. It's great work by the whole US team in transition. <laughs> turn for Brazil and suddenly we're in a tie game again. Focused on what the pipe can do 
This lineup is a little bit different because they have some different players hitting from position one, but the first tempo guys for the middle blockers for US are, are strong and Christensen can really go in either direction there. The US guys turned around pretty fast to this ball, telling him not to challenge him. Most of the decisions on challenges are actually made by the players and then communicated to the coach. The coach will have the final call. Good up by Douglas. Really good solution from Wallace, the cut shot inside. It's a good set from Bruno. Anderson's a good defender. He's won a lot of that matchup against Wallace today, but that ball was a little bit too short. To finish the thought about the challenge, the final decision or the main we decision can also is go made with four, often by the players. Spots with the coach just it left to think okay, about so the just state of the game, just how many challenges he has to it. Matty on the big gives him a different look. It's an option if you want to do it. Hey, we're going Mike four. Max, stay in two. Watch the shorts. Stay in two. Watch the shorts. Go. One, two, three. USA. Up, trying to go over on two, and it costs them the point as Sander rolls it off of Wallace. Good set from Christensen. This time Sander, instead of trying to hit hard, goes with a little roll shot that hits the block on the way out. Bruno has no chance. They got the Opportunity. Wallace tried to set it directly to Lucas, but he missed the play. So we'll get their side out. So another variation on a block out. Bruno tries to keep it fast. The ball is a little bit short and tight. But Douglas can get onto it. And the blocker can't control that kind of ball. You got two. And he certainly just realized that as that ball went down. A monster block from Isaac. It's a really good block. He tries to go inside Isaac, but Isaac's arms are just too long on that occasion. Chance for Brazil now. Let's play that by Anderson. Yeah, he hasn't given up this 
say. Good ball in. And a really good put away from the captain. It brings up match point now for John Sparrow's team. There it is again. Smith with speed. Gets off Isaac's hands before he can get out of there. That would have been a spectacular finish. This body dreams in their backyard of serving an ace and a big and uh match in a big final. Just as we were in the last set, 24, first to get two clear, will be the winner. And that one doesn't find the court from Wallace, but there's a challenge coming. Will it be an ace for Wallace or will it be match point number two for the USA? The USA are all ready to go, they, they know it's out. Uh, lining up to receive, they think that it's probably out too. But as we've seen before, even the best of us can be sometimes wrong. It's been closer than some of the others that have been challenged for out. Out it is, match point number two, it is Smith with the serve, a jump serve to come. The ball in from Douglas. And a nice pull away from Isaac. Bruno with confidence in his middle hitter to get the job done. Yeah, a little bit of a increased energy on the Brazilian side. Isaac really bounced that ball. A good reception from Douglas. Back to the pipe. I haven't seen that for most of this set. They use it to bring up match point number three. It's not the first time today that Christensen set the pipe after his own reception. Blockers often discount the receiver in that situation looking for a different attack, so they sure it's Christensen. Anderson takes the heat out of it and it just gives Isaac a free swing in the middle what a set by Bruno Bruno's really come back right now Alex did a great job to get in front of the receiver his reactions were a bit faster Hulk has a choice there he doesn't know if it's going to go over the net if he says it's going to tip or if it's going to be first tempo it's almost impossible for him to be right there Three match points saved by Brazil. Isaac with the serve. It's a really good serve. They have to go wide. But Russell has just done fantastically well to bring up match point number four. Great save from Christensen. All the way out to the antenna where he knows that Bruno is. Bruno does a good job of closing the line. But Russell is two minutes five. There's trouble here for Brazil. Real trouble for Brazil. It's been given out. Brazil think they've got this in the bag. There's going to be a challenge. Is it just going to be muted celebrations? No, it's all over. The referee says it's out. And it is the USA who take bronze here in Lille. And Brazil will be going home with nothing. It's the, the, the last one. Bruno saying, pointing out to the referee that the referee always has the option to call for a challenge on his own account. He doesn't have to wait for one of the coaches to call it, especially on a big point. If I was in Bruno's shoes, I would be making the same point. Luckily for everybody, the replay shows that it wasn't touched, otherwise we can have some big discussion for what's going on here. What a game. A try as Brazil might. They just couldn't 
get themselves ahead of Brazil, of the USA. And when they did, it was quickly pegged back in each of the sets. Really good performance from John Sparrow's team. Because you were really fought hard in that place like this, where you're fighting not just against the opponent, but your own disappointment, your own uncertainty. You want to win, you're searching for some emotion, some way. You feel had some moments where they looked like they might be able to win a set and win two sets, but the US were just really slick today, well organised. They made a couple of mistakes here and there, but led by Matt Anderson, they were the better team today. And over the course of the whole year now, they deserve their job. It has been an excellent level of volleyball here in the field. Teams having to pull out all the stops. No easy games. No easy medals won. It wasn't easy for the USA. They had to play their absolute best to get past Brazil. The USA now. Using for some uh, photos from the fans. from uh, David Smith, the USA captain. Hey David, congratulations. I mean, Brazil won the last six of the last seven world level encounters. What made the difference today? Oh uh, man, you know, we just brought everything we had today. Obviously, uh, Brazil is dealing with some injuries right now, but uh, they still put a very formidable team on that court. So uh, we just kind of focused on what we had to do. And uh, we came out on top today, and we'll, we'll definitely see them again in the future. So uh, uh, I enjoy this battle, and it, uh, it'll continue for a long time. How satisfied are you winning the bronze medal at the VNL finals? Uh, it's great. I mean, obviously, it's the first year. It's been, uh, it's been a long summer so far. We've, uh, we've definitely had the battle to get to this point. Uh, it's not the color we wanted, but uh, it's the best result we could get for today. So we're, we're satisfied with how we did. Uh, we'll take a little break, and then kind of come back and start preparing for the World Championship. It's a nice color. Thank you very much and congrats. Some great words from Smith. Great celebrations from the team. Good job, well done. Let's have a look at the highlights from the match. What a game, what a result. USA delighted. These are the stats from the match overall. And there wasn't a great deal in it, but blocking and serving were the two key points ultimately for the USA. And they will be delighted, as David Smith said, to get past the Brazil team. Despite their injuries, they were still a formidable opponent. Well, that concludes our coverage here. We still have one more game to come. We hope you can join us for that when Russia take on France for the gold medal. Until then, from myself, Clayton Lucas, and Mark Leberdu, it's the end of the broadcast. Thanks for being part of the game.
the starters of the reigning Olympic champion.
not the end, end of that eight, but we...
lot more. For example, 